everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another fantasy booking style video for you guys, and we are talking about my favorite pay-per-view of the entire WWE calendar year, right? We have the 2021 WWE Royal Rumble match coming up this Sunday, so the Royal Rumble videos are about to start ramping up, Brad, because we are getting ready for it. I am super excited for it. Lots of great matches on the card so far. Only four, obviously, because there's two Royal Rumble matches. We're going to cover the women's, we're going to cover the men's, we're going to cover both championship matches that are announced so far regarding the WWE and Universal Championships. I'm going to give you my own thoughts and opinions on it and fantasy book this thing. If you guys don't know how these videos work, basically, I am the head of creative. Vince McMahon came to me and said, Trey, how do you want to book this show? Whatever you say goes, that's how this video goes. So that's what we're going to do here today. I will make a separate predictions video. I'll make a separate, you know, like what I think about the show, what like some potential surprises we could see, some surprise entrants, some potential winners, all of those things. We are going to do this week so stay tuned for that turn on your bell because we got some epic ish i feel like this year guys more than any other year i swear to jesus this royal rumble is probably more unpredictable than any other year i feel like there's so many surprise things that could happen with the pandemic and everything i feel like anything is possible in this show there's a lot of returns that could happen there's a lot of things that could take place and i'm just super excited to dive into it guys so let's go ahead and start things off with the women's royal rumble now for the women's royal rumble we don't have a ton of women announced for the match so far i think it's 12 in each match so far. We have 12 for the men, 12 for the women. And so far for the Women's Royal Rumble, we have announced Nia Jax, Charlotte Flair, Bianca Belair, Bailey, Mandy Rose, Stand There, Stand There, Dana Brooke, Peyton Royce, Alexa Bliss, Shayna Baszler, Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, and everybody's beloved favorite, to man. So out of this field, I think that we could be potentially looking at four different winners just out of this field right here, but I also think we have a, pot a potential surprise of two more winners, guys, and we'll get into that as we go through it and, like, how I'd love to see it. Like, this is this is just... There's, I'm going to give you two different scenarios here, so let's go ahead and dive into it, guys. So with there only being 12 announced, I'm sure on Monday Night Raw tonight and then on Friday Night SmackDown this week, we're going to get more announcements. We're going to get more people confirming their entry or qualifying, which is dumb in itself. I mean, my God, how can somebody how can somebody just come out and say, I'm in the Royal Rumble, and then other people have to qualify for it? Makes no sense. All of them should be qualified, except for, like, surprise entrance things of that nature. They should do the little Royal Rumble draw balls things. I'd bring that back, alright? I'd bring that back. That'd be my first thing of fantasy booking. Little Royal, you know, the Royal Rumble draw, you know, the Royal Rumble lottery pick number thing, where they, they rotate the thing and you pick your ball out? I'd bring that back immediately, if I was fantasy booking. If I was head of creative, I'd do that immediately. So many great segments, so many little storyline things you can intertwine. That's why I put it in the MDT Royal Rumble show. Anyways, diving into this show, guys, like I said, I think we have a potential for four different winners just in this field right here. And I'll shortly kind of cover that right quick. Charlotte Flair, I mean, it's Charlotte Flair, Brad. She could fart in a hole and smell it and automatically win the championship at any given moment. Nobody wanted her to win last year. Wasn't it last year that she won it? Nobody wanted to see that ish. You saw what happened. Speaking of Charlotte Flair, I'm sure that Lacey Evans will be in the thing. But nonetheless, I think Bianca Belair has a great chance. I think Bailey has a great chance. And I think Alexa Bliss has a great chance. Just simply because of their talent, because of their intertwining storyline right now, because of the name and everything like that, I can definitely see it taking place. Now, I honestly think that's probably going to be your final four, unless my fantasy booking deal comes true. Let's say those four ladies are remaining in the ring. You could even pitch in Lacey Evans. You could even pitch in somebody else, whatever you want to do. So we're coming up on the number 30 entrant, ladies and gentlemen, and the buzz goes off and ladies and gentlemen it is the return of the man Becky Lynch Becky Lynch is here she gave birth to her daughter her and Seth Rollins daughter on December 7th that would be roughly six and a half seven weeks or so since December 7th on the night of the Royal Rumble she's posted images of her working out on Instagram she was working out while she was pregnant kind of I guess like wanting to stay in shape not to gain too much weight that way when she had her baby she could bounce right back whenever possible now I have a son who is 11 months old and I know how hard it is to take care of a newborn and her newborn baby is literally like seven or eight weeks old so honestly like yeah she could have family come to the show and take care of her she could have other people take care of her while she did her thing in the ring but that would be a very challenging thing to come back and wrestle and be a new mom like that would be incredibly difficult I can't even imagine that I know that it definitely helps since they're in like the Thunder Dome and you know they have this on-site location they're not traveling and stuff that definitely makes it a lot easier but but if I were 
fantasy booking it, man, all that stuff aside, I would have Becky Lynch return at the number 30 spot, win the Women's Royal Rumble, and challenge Asuka, who she gifted the title way long ago. You could even have her come out on Monday night, the following Monday, so next Monday, you could have Becky Lynch come out, and you know, Asuka celebrating with her, hugging her, and then Becky Lynch just goes by rate and beats the shit out of Asuka. I gifted you this title. Everybody forgot about me. I'm the man. You're not the man. This is my job. I know I'm a new mom, but F that. Everybody telling me I can't wrestle because I'm a new mom, and you have like Karen mom Becky Lynch heel. Bam, there you go. There's your WrestleMania match. Asuka, Becky Lynch. Another thing I'd love to see would be Ronda Rousey returning, but I'm not even going to get into that, Brad. We're not going to get into that. I'll probably get into that a little bit later, but that's how I booked the Women's Royal Rumble. If I was completely fantasy booking it, that is what I would do. Now, on the realistic side of things, if you didn't have any surprise entrance, if I had to go from the field, I would take Bianca Belair or Bayley. You could even have some crazy stumble-lumble deal where uh, I think I'd get a triple threat, Bianca, Bayley, Sasha Banks for the Women's Championship at WrestleMania. Maybe have it where they do a, a John Cena Batista deal or or something like that. Something BS happens. There you go. So let's get all the women out of the way, guys, and then we're going to get into our two championship matches. Now, getting into the WWE Championship, ladies and gentlemen, we have Drew McIntyre going up with Goldberg. Now, we all know the old story, Brad. How many times has somebody been fed to Goldberg, which really has me fearsome for Drew McIntyre in this matchup. So if I'm fantasy booking this thing, I'd have Drew McIntyre squash Goldberg's ass, man. I'm not even lying to you. You know, you know Goldberg loves to wrestle three and a half minute matches. I wouldn't even last that long, Brad. I'd say two minutes tops. Drew McIntyre comes out and smacks his titties off. Claymore to the mouth. Claymore to the mouth. Claymore to the mouth. Game over. Put his ass away. Send him on his way with his paycheck and whatever the case. Now, I'm very scared that that's not going to happen. But if I'm fantasy booking it, man, no buts about it. Get out of my face. Drew McIntyre said I'm going with him, but no, Brad. Drew McIntyre slaps Goldberg's titties, buries him alive, and uh, we move on to a different match, man, because I don't want to see that garbage. I honestly, what makes this so difficult for this year's Royal Rumble, guys, is I don't know what the hell is going through Vince McMahon's head. You know he doesn't give a crap about building up a character. He'll build up a character for nine months and then squash all the progress that he's made. So it's very difficult to make an assumption on this, but I'd have Drew McIntyre go over. I don't know who the hell he's going to fight at WrestleMania. That could tie into the Royal Rumble, which we'll get into, and I think the winner of the Royal Rumble is probably going to take on Drew McIntyre. I don't see him taking on Roman Reigns unless it goes a couple ways, which we'll get into a little bit, but Drew McIntyre squashes Goldberg, and that's all I got to say about that one. Now, moving on to our other match, guys, we have the big dog Roman Reigns taking on my man Kevin Owens. You guys know I'm a massive Kevin Owens fan. I love Roman Reigns as well. I love this character that we're getting that we've gotten of Roman Reigns throughout 2020, and it's just been magical to see. It's been one of the best on-character performances that I've seen in a little bit. Just just really damn good. I love the storytelling and the character build of him. And it's just been fantastic. And I love Kevin Owens. Now I'll say the Adam Pierce stuff is garbage. I don't like it. I don't think it's good. I don't want to watch I don't want to see Adam Pierce on my TV getting these getting this champion. You know he was slated for this championship match. It was like a little swervy derb. Kevin Owens got in there thank Christ this is a much better match. You guys remember Royal Rumble 2017 wasn't it? These two guys squared off and it was a fantastic match, so I expect shenanigans, I expect Uso interference, which we'll get into, and I think we could see Jimmy Uso get involved in this thing, which is a potential, a potential thing that could take place, which would tie into my storyline that happens for WrestleMania, which is the fantasy booking style here, which Roman Reigns will defeat Kevin Owens. It's sad to see, but it's for the best, man. It just makes the most sense logically, storytelling, WrestleMania vibes. Roman Reigns has been the hottest thing all freaking, all freaking wrestling season so far, man. Kevin Owens is uh, gonna go down, which is sad to see, but after the match, if you effing smell what The Rock is cooking, Brad, this is what I would have. I could see The Rock returning and challenging Roman Reigns. Maybe you get the bloodline involved with Jimmy and Jey Uso, and then The Rock comes out and says, I've been sick of you saying you're the head of the table, bish. I built the goddamn table. This is my family. This is my tribe. F you, Brad, and you have your uh, your big-time matchup right there. That's your moneymaker, man. That's your night two main a match. Night one, Drew McIntyre. Night two, Roman Reigns. Here you go. Rock and Roman Reigns. That's how I, I'd book it. I'd have them stare down. Or you could have The Rock come out and just plant 
sent Roman Reigns with a rock bottom. Whatever the case, but I think that would be magical. That's how I book it. I don't care what strings we got to pull, man. This is the match that needs to happen. It makes the most sense logically. There's another there's another match that makes sense logically, which I'll go ahead and redo right now, and that could be the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar returning. Now, this is a very interesting concept because Brock Lesnar could come out F5 Roman Reigns, and I know it'd be like, oh my god, this match again, but it's completely different. The tables are flipped. Roman Reigns is the heel. Brock Lesnar would probably be the babyface now. Paul Heyman, what is Brock Lesnar without Paul Heyman? What does that look like, Brad? What what would that even look like, man? We I would love to see that. So that's another thing I'd love to see. Brock Lesnar return. F5 Roman Reigns. There's your Mania matchup right there. Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar tie together. We haven't seen this man in over a year's time, which also this could happen for the WWE Championship because you guys know the last time we saw Brock, he got macked by Drew McIntyre. So I don't know. Lots of, again, lots of tons of possibilities going on here, man, but I'm just fantasy booking off the top of the dome and uh, that's what I would do if I were in charge. Now, this is where the money is made, Brad. I don't know who the blue hell is going to win this Royal Rumble. I, I really don't. I'm, I'm so all over the place. I'm so all over the place. There's there's only 12 matches or 12 entrants confirmed already like we talked about. Like, I don't... And I honestly don't know who the hell could walk out. I know it's been stirring a little bit. I, I've heard Daniel Bryan. I've heard Big E. I've heard Brock Lesnar. I've heard, I've heard it all, Brad. I've heard it all. I've heard CM Punk, which is ridiculous. We're not even going to get into our CM Punk fantasy booking because that's just... That's just he's just on these lists every single year. We're not we're not gonna get into that. As epic as that would be, and I would just eat a pile of dog shit if that happened. We're not gonna get into that. So so far, ladies and gentlemen, here's your announcement field: Daniel Bryan, Bobby Lashley, AJ Styles, Randy Orton, Otis, The Miz, Jey Uso, Cesaro, Jeff Hardy, Sami Zayn, Dolph Ziggler, and Shinsuke Nakamura. What I would love to see is I would love to see Edge return and win the John Brown thing, but that wouldn't make sense logically, would it? Because Randy Randy Orton is not the champion. If Randy Orton were WWE or Universal Champion, I would have Edge return at number 30, win the Royal Rumble. There's your final trifecta that blows off the storyline that's been building forever. He got put on the shelf seven months by Randy Orton. That would be the match. That, there's no doubt about it. That would be your matchup. I think we could potentially get this. I still see Edge as a surprise entrant taking out Randy Orton, leading to a Mania match again. It all comes back together, full circle. It would be beautifully written. There, There's no doubt about that. However... You gotta be thinking that The Fiend is in the wings, man. He's in the wings. He got burned alive, as you guys know. Is it too soon for him to return? I don't know. I honestly feel like, yes, I don't think he should return just yet. I feel like they should put this off a little more. I think Edge is your return, takes out Randy Orton. They feud, and then when Edge wins that feud, that's when The Fiend returns. I think that's what you should do. However, I still could see The Fiend returning at the Royal Rumble and whatever. Now, getting into winners of this match, I, oh, God, in heaven. Man, again, there's so many John Brown possibilities. It's it's ridiculous. But since I'm fantasy booking this, and we're not into my predictions, and we're not into all the possible fathomabilities of the thing, fantasy booking it. Here we go. Again, Randy Orton's not WWE or Universal Champion, so I'm not gonna put in my Edge fantasy booking, which would also eliminate the theme from possibility from winning it. To be honest with you. All right, here we go, Brad. I know Daniel Bryan's probably the lead favorite to win the Royal Rumble, or take on Roman Reigns. I could see that. I'd be fine with that. I think it'd be excellent. But I'm gonna to say that it comes down to Daniel Bryan, Big E, maybe Edge, maybe Sheamus could get in there. I could see that possibly building up too. I honestly wouldn't be damn shocked if Sheamus won the John Brown thing. I wouldn't like it, but I wouldn't even be shocked. There's there's kind of your final four, and at the end of the day, now remember, this is fantasy booking here, so what I say goes, alright? So they don't have really any big names, right? I've been hearing on the rumor mill that we could get some big names for this thing. I'm gonna say the number 30 entrant, a man we have not seen in almost a year's time comes back as a heel and we get the return of Jonathan Cena. John Cena is the number 30 entrant. You guys remember the last time we saw him, he was a babyface. He took on The Fiend. He got defeated by The Fiend at WrestleMania. You guys know that anybody that comes in contact with The Fiend usually flips the script. They either go from a heel to a babyface or a babyface to a heel. So John Cena comes out at the number 30 spot, eliminates Big E, eliminates Keith Lee, eliminates Daniel Daniel Bryan. I actually have that as my final two. John Cena, Daniel Bryan. John Cena eliminates Daniel Bryan and is the winner of the 2021 Royal Rumble. He challenges Drew McIntyre and we have a heel John Cena take on a baby face 
Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania. You need a big name star. You need big names, Brad. Well, it doesn't get any bigger than the GOAT. And at WrestleMania, after carrying the damn company on his back for 15 years, John Cena wins the WWE Championship and captures his 17th World Championship, breaking the record. And that is how you fantasy book a football program. Now, I know this is fantasy booking, but again, I'm in charge right here. This is just me throwing crap at the wall, kind of, you know, mixing up my thoughts and opinions on some things getting some things going. But that is how I fancy book it, man. Let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. I think we ran a little long in this video, but you know, it is what it is. I enjoy the fantasy booking videos. And again, this Royal Rumble is crazy, bro. I mean, there's so many things that could take place. I honestly don't see a lot of NXT talent being in this Rumble. Again, we're going to do potential surprise entrants. We're going to do potential winners. We're going to do all those things, guys. So let me know down in the comment section below. We're going to do a Royal Rumble setup and everything. Predictions. I mean, we got a lot of ish to cover, but that does it for my fantasy booking video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know down in the comment section below how you would book it. What do you think of my fantasy booking? Let me know down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at My Damn Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. John Cena's the GOAT, Brad, and he's telling you not to cross the line, but hold up, hold up, hold up. We gotta get into the random shout-out. almost forgot. almost forgot. So for this random shout-out, guys, it is gonna go to WWE Figs, longtime fan of the channel. He says, I honestly don't mind getting so many Cody's, Omega's, Bucks, etc. because they're going to sell, and those guys have some awesome attires. That was one of the top comments, and I completely agree with him. I'm gonna buy up all the Cody's, Omega's, Bucks. Doesn't really matter to me. It, 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 it doesn't matter, man. I'm gonna buy them. I love the AEW figure line. I think it's great. I think it's fan freaking fantastic. But huge shout out to WWE Figs, man. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, My Damn Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. You crossed the line. I've been beaten.